Hi, welcome to this very last edition, Article Linux 1903. And we have a way of adding tools and applications to our systems, right? So there is Dropbox, there is Instinct, there's a lot of stuff out there. In this case, I just booted up Openbox and it's still XFCE Openbox i3 ISO. But you can easily switch, your documents stay the same, your links stay the same, everything is tweaked and themed, you just switch if you like it, if you feel like it and change. This video is about this little icon up here. We have, of there are lots of ways to message something, have a messenger kind of um, functionality. And this is one of them. There is Wired, there is Telegram, there are many others. There is France, maybe you should have a look at. But there is, there are tools. And in this case, this guy is looking rather ugly. If you install today sudo pacman minus s and then telegram that's all you need to remember and then just keep pressing tab and you you see that you need to have the desktop version then you will find out that this has a bluish kind of um, circle with a think white icon more or less like this one but we wouldn't be at Linux if we did not theme it. So any icon we see is malfunctioning, we make a new one, any icon up here that's not nice, not plays, does not play nicely in this nice little black toolbar, well, we tweak it. Where, how did we do it? Well, if you, you are probably already aware, and if you're not, just start typing Nemesis, maybe, maybe, let's see what Google brings up. If you Google this thing and you give a combination between Arco Linux and uh, Nemesis, what will it provide? It will provide already the GitHub. So this is the one we need and lots of information here. Videos about Nemesis you should check out. Attack Nemesis. Installing Arco Linux Nemesis on any desktop as a possible workflow. So it's just an idea and here back in the days when I was uh, on the project of Arch Labs and okay enough information so you see it's important you'll find it it's no uh, not uh, difficult to find this github now in this github there is a personal folder and it's up to you to decide which things you run these are my scripts from my machine and um, you see what you can use and reuse but in here, there is a bunch of Telegram icons. In here, there is a lot of elements and a little script that I use to make hundreds, no, thousands of icons. So really thousands of icons. 3,400 to be exact, right? It says here. So when you download this, and it's simple to download something from the GitHub, just click here, download zip, or you do git clone and then this URL copy paste it afterwards. I've already done that to waste to not waste time. File manager in my data folder there is Arc Linux Nemesis already there. Now what this personal thing is going to do, this script here, Telegram tray icon white. Every time I install a new system, and this is a new system since Atom is asking, hey, show welcome guide. Bye bye. Telemetry consent. Yes. Welcome guide. Go. So what does this thing do? It takes a look if there is a particular folder in your home, local, share, telegram desktop, T data, T icons. If it's not there because it's a clean installation, maybe at that point in time, telegram is not yet installed, right? But the icons will be already there, so I'm gonna make this directory, hold this, this whole path will be created if it does not exist. And it's going to remove everything from there if by accident you, well, if it's, it's, um, it's already installed, it will contain already icons. So in this line, make sure that the old icons are gone, all of them. Then we wait a little bit and now we copy paste everything over. That's from us. That's what's going to happen. So this script, let's move that guy over here. Control H. 
let's go directly to the destination rather than the source you saw where the source was it was online it's also local but it's in the local so we have here also links local share then telegram desktop t data and t icons thousands and thousands and thousands this is my slider and this is the length of all these icons now i've made it simple for myself white is there is no message and blue there is a message somebody sent me something on this so nobody is talking to me at this point in time so that's the the simplistic uh well way of, of creating these icons that's what i did you can always change again that's up to you but it's all in here in the nemesis in the settings you have telegram icons there is this one that one and they had some kind of mute thing which is then a little bit darker or something like that didn't see didn't make any sense for me so i made a script to run thousands of icons and um, we're going to well this thing loops through from 100 to 1999 icons from this one and that one and that one is going to copy paste everything over so i have lots three three thousand four hundred icons so basically that's how we did it we overwrote of we we found where these um icons were hidden because it was nick actually who found it it was hidden away in here local t data t icons once you know you'll figure it out but you need to find it first and then we delete everything and put ours in the place and we get this beautiful icon up here if you like it you know where to find it nemesis all right cheers